my name is Nicole and today I have a special pick a card dragon messages messages from the dragons I've been feeling this dragon energy here lately this week with this new moon that we're having so let's see what messages do the dragons have for us this week. I have three piles before you. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Remember guys, there is no right way of doing this. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So, let's take in a deep breath. Breathe out. Relax. Remember to listen to your intuition. So, have you chosen yet? Great, let's get started with everyone that has chosen pile number one. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what messages we have from the dragons for you today with this dragon energy. Space. Dragon of Air. Balance, number 11. Awareness, number one. So pile number one, the air dragon, space. You need much needed space right now, pile number one. You need space and time to think. You need to clear your mind and think about even traveling at this time. I feel like you're thinking about clearing the space around you and just taking a trip, a much needed trip at that. You're looking to just, just get out of the normal things that you've been going through lately. You're, 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 you're looking for a change. You want to clear the space and, and feel new energy. And that's what this ear dragon is saying to you. Clear your space and take a trip and come back to new energy. You need a change of pace in your life, Paul number one. And with the balance card here, number 11, you need to balance your energy you're kind of scattered right now. This is why the air dragon is saying to you, you need to make space. You need to renew and cleanse your space and your area, your home. You need some kind of change. You need to balance yourself, pile number one. Your energy is very scattered right now. You need to turn within. And number 11 also stands for twin flame, pile number one. So you may, during this trip, meet your twin flame. But first I suggest that you clear your space your home space, clear it out, throw out things that you don't need, 
organize things, air it out, and then leave it and take a trip to clear your mind and get balanced. And here we have awareness. Open your mind to new possibilities, regroup, start thinking of all the things that you want to do in life and work at it. And I think num pile number one, that you have had a few ideas well that has accumulated in your mind and you just haven't taken action. So take action, pile number one. The number one stands for new beginnings, new opportunities. You have the potential, pile number one. And number one is for pile number one, isn't it? Great. So bring that awareness out. You have the ideas in your mind. Let's bring it to life. The dragon air needs you to clear your space. Balance yourself. Bring those ideas to life. And right now I'm feeling you just need to get out of your current space, your, your home, your, your apartment, wh wherever you're living right now. You need to just clear it out. Take out what you don't need. Cleanse it. Give it a nice cleansing with some sage, Palo Santo, something to just clean and clear out the area. Open up those windows, throw out things you don't need, and decide to just take a trip, even if it's just for a weekend, even if it's not too far, just leave for a few days. Give yourself some much needed time and space to think about what you need to do in your life. Bring awareness and bring to life the ideas that you have in your mind. You have several, several that are just sitting in your mind, collecting space, and they need to come out. You need to bring these ideas out, but first balance yourself. Gain some wisdom and balance yourself. Next card. Watchers. Transpersonal. And it's like you have to go out and up into the mountains and, and connect with the wilderness in order to feel this enlightenment that you're looking for this awareness that you have that you need to bring to life. This is a time that you need to connect with the Mother Earth and bring to life these ideas that you have, pile number one. This is a transformational period for you. Next card, Root Girl, the disowned self. So don't disown yourself going through this, pile number one. You're wondering if you should give up on the idea. You're wondering if uh, you should call it quits on this, but you have your roots into these ideas. These ideas that you have in your mind are part of you. This is going to transition your whole life, pile number one. So clear your mind, clear your space, balance your energy at this time. And again, I see a twin flame approaching in this reading. 
once you step forward and make up your mind to do the things that you desire that you wish to accomplish pile number one there is so much waiting for you next card being in the flow i am in the flow of the universe and you are pile number one stay in the flow don't give up and disown your ideas and yourself don't get frustrated. Be in the flow of things. As these ideas come to you, work on it right away. As soon as you feel this energy flow through you, let the energy take you to where you need to go. And right here, that's you. You're going to travel. You're going to clear your space. You're going to let these dreams come to life, pile number one. You are in the flow of your universe. You are in charge of your dreams and destiny. Next card up. Opening to love. My heart is open. This is the love I was talking about that is approaching you, pile number one. There's a twin flame, and you see the heart with the flame there. That's confirmation again that you have a twin flame on the horizon. And again, I feel that when you make, <clears throat> excuse me, when you make this, this trip, this is when you're going to meet your twin flame and be open to love don't be afraid don't hold back don't be down on yourself and not knowing which way you want to go make sure you free your mind get that much needed balance you have several ideas now pick the first one and start working towards it and bring it to life. Do not disown these ideas that you have. They're well rooted inside of you. This is the transition you've been waiting for. This message that you're receiving from the ear dragon today is letting you know that you have to make a move. First, you have to quiet your mind and balance yourself and clear out your space. Take a much needed trip, even if it's just for a weekend and see what happens, pile number one. Next card up. Sacred plan. So it is a sacred plan of yours, Paul, number one. The ear dragon wants you to know that they are with you. They are with you every step of the way, giving you this energy, sending you this energy for the sacred plan to start. But you have to make the first move, Paul, number one. Next card. Forgiveness and understanding. So forgive yourself for any, any mistakes you've made in the past that you feel that is holding you back from starting these new ideas that you have. Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Nurture yourself. You can feel it in your heart that you want to bring these ideas that you have to life, pile number one. Don't let what has happened in your past stop you from moving forward into these new dreams that you have, good ideas that you have for yourself. Trust. And let me have one more 
message for pile number one. One more message for pile number one. Okay. One more message for pile number one. Your soul has made many journeys. Listen to its wisdom. Wow, what a great message, Paul number one. I hope this gives you the encouragement to listen to your heart's desires. Much needed time and space is needed right now for yourself to balance your mind, clear your mind and space, follow your heart. This is a sacred plan that you're on, pile number one. Trust. So that is what I have for pile number one. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye. two let's see what dragon messages we have for you today with this dragon energy first card dominions believing in yourself this is a message from the red fire dragon believe in yourself pile number two Next card up, Disruption, number 16. Next card, Passion, Ignited, wow, number one. Okay, pile number two. It looks like the red fire dragon wants you to believe in yourself believe in yourself that you can do this believe in yourself that you can work things out in this relationship that you're in it seems like a major disruption in your relationship has happened recently you're upset with yourself about it. You have been very tense lately. You've been getting angry at almost the smallest things here lately. You don't understand why. You've been feeling very just under a lot of tension. You feel very unorganized. You feel very as it says, a disruption in your mental state, in your surroundings, in your life right now, Paul number two. You're not happy. You're not happy with yourself. But you have to believe in yourself and this is what the red fire dragon wants you to do, is to believe in yourself, Paul number two. Believe in yourself, whatever it is, whether it's a job, whether it's a low income at this time, whether it's, it's the relationship that you're in that is causing this disruption in your life, in your heart at this time. And the person that you're with, pile number two, wants you to bring that passion back that love back that you once had this this passion that you once had your partner wants it to wants to feel like it's the beginning of your relationship like how it was in the beginning of your relationship.
your partner misses the way you used to make them feel like their heart is ignited with love and passion. But you're not feeling it, pile number two. Something has happened to you to cause a disruption in your state, in your mind right now. You have to reflect, reassess yourself and what's going on in your life. Acknowledge your faults, pile number two. One and six is seven. Seven means you reflection. So acknowledge what's going on with you, pile number two. Believe in yourself. You've lost faith. The fire dragon is sending you energy to believe in yourself and have faith at this time. Next card up. Lost in space. Six and three is nine. You're going to make it happen. You're going to fix things, pile number two. You're going to have fulfillment again. You're going to have attunement. You may feel a little spacey at this time, but you're not lost. You're going to get much needed direction in your life. You're going to get help. Pile number two. Maybe you have some addictions that you need to conquer right now. And it could be a drinking problem. It could be any addiction. But you are going to get help. You are going to make things better. And this is going to happen. You are going to bring this to fruition. You are going to heal your relationship with your partner. Next card. Tidy house. A tidy house. Clarity. An organization. Yes. You're going to clear this up, pile number two. And number one means new beginnings. You're going to make the effort and clear the air with your partner. Clarity and organization. This is how you're going to get help, Paul number two. You're going to take a new direction. Next card up. Embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. And this is you, pile number two. You're going to take a trip. And it's going to be an adventure. Just the two of you after this is all sorted out. After you get much needed help. You're going to take a trip with your partner and ignite that spark in your life and that passion again. That's so well needed in this relationship, pile number two. So make the effort. Take the direction that is much needed for you to get more clarity at this time. breaking barriers. I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So you are going to break free of this, Paul number two. And you're going to expand beyond any limitations that come your way. And you're going to be filled with joy and freedom when this happens. So make that change, Paul number two. Take that direction that's needed. Break those barriers. Next card. Opportunity and change. Again, Paul number two. You're going to take the opportunity to make a change. To make things better in your relationship with your partner. 
she's extending her hand out to you in this picture, whether it's male or female, they're extending their hand to you for love and peace, to unite. The red fire dragon wants you to know that they are sending you this energy of change into your life. You can do this, pile number two. You can make this change to bring back the love into your relationship once again. Next card. Expect miracles, pile number two. You can do this. You can bring that love and spark back into your life again. This is going to feel like a major miracle once you take that direction to change your life, to get rid of the addictions. It'll be a major breakthrough for you, Paul number two. I have one more message for pile number two. One more message for pile number two. Only think positive thoughts as your desires are manifesting. You can do this. Think positive, pile number two. You can do this. Just take the steps in the right direction. Get the help that you need. Bring that spark back into your life again. Think positive, pile number two. And make this happen. And those are your messages from the dragons. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye. Hello, pile number three. Let's see what messages we have for you today from the dragon realm. First card. Oh, wow. Choice, understanding, consequences. And this is from the Gemini dragon. So you have to make a choice, pal number three. Make a choice. Next card up. Base chakra, number one. Next card up. Destiny, number 10. Now the Gemini dragon, with this card, pal number three, it looks like you have to make a decision. You have a choice to make and you have to understand the consequences of this choice, this direction that you're going to take. Now, this has been on your mind for quite some time. You're wondering if you take this route, if you're going to crumble and burn, if it's going to just explode on you and you may lose by making this choice. So you're wondering which way to go. You have a choice to make, a direction to take. So choose wisely, pile number three, choose wisely. Make sure you think about if you can afford to make or take a loss. Now, you have to heal your base chakra, your root chakra. 
you feel unsteady about making any move at all right now, pile number three. But by you making this choice, I see a new beginning for you. New opportunities. You have a lot of potential. Pile number three. Don't let fear hold you back. Because this is your destiny. This is your destiny. You have been planning this for quite some time. And you're looking at both directions, both of these choices. You're looking at both of these choices as fear. You're thinking if you go this way, you'll crumble and fall. And if you go up this way, the same thing may happen. So you're just standing there like you're not even going to move either way. But the Gemini dragon wants you to make that move. But first you have to ground yourself and heal that root chakra, gain that confidence, gain that confidence that you need to move forward with this pile number three. This is your destiny. This is your heart's desire. This is keeping you up at night, pile number three. You're up at night wondering how and when to make this move, this choice, this direction. But the, the Gemini dragon wants you to know, pile number three, that you're at the end of a cycle already of worrying. You're at a completion now, and it's time for you to make that choice and take a chance. You will be renewed with new inspiration. The Gemini Dragon is sending you a renewal of energy, of ideas. This is your destiny, palm number three. So I suggest you heal your root chakra. I suggest that you meditate and strengthen that root chakra, that base. And what you can do is the Kundalini method where you tighten up your your lower your bottom you tighten that up while you breathe tighten up your stomach your lower body your bottom just tighten that up while you take in a deep breath and and hold it hold it keep it tight this strengthens the root chakra okay next card up in the hand the universe is your partner. The universe hears you, pile number three. And the Gemini dragons want you to know that they are here for you as well. And they're going to help you with making this decision, pile number three. They are here as a partner for you to bring you support and guidance at this time. Now three and one is four. They're bringing you some stability and they're gonna help you manifest this dream, this destiny of yours, Paul number three. Next card up, Jeweled Web Connectivity. So you're going to make major connections here, Paul number three, that's gonna help you bring this to life. Three and two is five. This is what's going to help you make that change. Five stands for change. You've been feeling conflicted lately 
you've been having instability, you've been feeling unstable. So the Gemini dragons want to bring you change. They want to send you a healing and helping hand, a healing hand with your root chakra. They want to give you that desire and, and energy to bring this desire, this destiny to life. This is your destiny. This is something you've been planning for quite some time, pile number three. This is keeping you up at night. You have to move forward. Let go. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flow of life. Let go, pile number three. Let go. Let go and make your destiny come come true. Let go. Don't let it keep you up at night by thinking the worst, pile number three. Surrender. You'll feel a relief when you do. You can't know what's going to happen until you move forward with your destiny, pile number three. So go with the ebb and flow and let go. Make that choice. Expecting miracles. Miracles are blessings in my life. And when you do let go, pile number three, expect the miracles to come. We have some more hands. We have some more hands here helping you, pile number three. All these helping hands, miracles are blossoming in your life. Things will move. Just let go of the old and step into the new, pile number three. Next card up. friendship and union and as you continue on your journey and making that choice you're going to have great friendships and 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 union with people you're going to make meet a new community of friends that are going to come together again and lend a hand and help give you that much needed ignition into your confidence to help support you to bring your destiny to life, pile number three. So let go, expect miracles. Heal that root chakra. Get that confidence. Your root chakra is your stability. Is your confidence. So connect. Connect. Connect with others. They will give you a helping hand, pal number three. Next card up spiritual growth this is a learning experience for you pal number three a learning experience and you're going to grow and learn a lot from it and you're going to learn to trust and you're going to have a lot of help here i see a lot of help coming your way look at all these hands of help that you have coming look at all of this all of these helping hands Oops, all of these helping hands. So pile number three, let go, expect miracles. You're going to have trustworthy friends coming your way. Trust. And let go of the bad friends that you have experienced in the past. 
You've learned a lot of lessons and you will grow spiritually from this. And this is you, Paul number three. This is you shining your light from within. May I have one more message for pile number three? One more message for pile number three. Let's see. Your animals in spirit are showering you with their love. Now maybe you have an, a pet that can see the stress that you're going through at this time. And if not, the animal spirit realm is showering you with love. You're getting love everywhere, pile number three. And those are your messages from the dragon realm. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye!